This is a Tiger Ambush. Go ahead and grab yourself some of this cool merchandise. It will be linked in the description or the comment section. Thank you for the support and enjoy the video. What's up you guys? It's the Tiger Master D60XC and welcome to another uh, chit chat with the Tiger Master. And today we're going to talk about art block, art block, art block, art block, literally an artist uh, <laughs> biggest enemy and i'm gonna share some tips and things that have worked for me to be art block it's been a minute since i've had art block to be honest with you because i i have learned how to tackle it and how to defeat it and i would say that the first step is to be determined to be art block so sometimes uh, when you get art block, you need to kind of like analyze it. Is it art block because you just don't have any ideas or is it art block because you're tired? Like if you're honestly tired, it happens. It happens with anything that people do. You get you get fatigue when you do sports. You get fatigue when you do music. You get fatigue when you're studying for tests. You get fatigue with art. So it's like don't push yourself further than you need than than necessary because our block might be a sign that your body needs a break so if you face our block and you know that you've been really really grinding the last couple of days weeks maybe even months um different people have different levels of burnout and fatigue so if you know that you've been working hard for the amount of time that you normally work hard and you get art block, that's usually a sign that you just need to take a break. So just go ahead and give yourself a day off. I mean, uh, I feel like at least with American culture, it's this idea that you got to work, 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 work. No sleep, no sleep, no sleep, no rest, no rest, no rest, no vacations. Like Americans and the way that American society is set up is where like there just isn't enough vacations. I know with like jobs, they don't give enough vacation time. They don't pay people for having vacations. Um, a lot of people overworked, whether it's school or jobs or just overworked. And then we overwork ourselves when we work. Um, from home or you work independently as a freelancer or uh, any type of various artists even as a hobbyist we overwork ourselves then so give yourself license to take a break and really give yourself the license to take a break don't sit there and pound yourself and be like oh my gosh i got art block uh, i'm a failure i'm unproductive oh my god no just just chill out um, what I do when I get hit with art block, all I gotta do is just find an anime or read a manga that inspires me. Um, that's pretty much the main reason why I started like really drawing anyway, is I like anime or manga. So if I get like art block, I just watch that and it always motivates me. So the next day I'm like, yes, I'm ready to draw. Or um, you can go watch YouTube videos of speed draws. That always motivates, that motivates me and might motivate you. So that's my tip. That's like really step number one is to what, why are you facing art block? Now, are you just art blocking? um because you just ran out of ideas so if you are blocking because you ran out of ideas there's plenty of ways to solve that um i think the biggest way is to do challenges um oof. do art challenges there's plenty of art challenges you can literally look it up on youtube you can look it up on um pinterest uh twitter instagram there you can literally just google art challenges and just do an art challenge um another thing you could do is do uh fan art and literally just draw characters you don't even have to like be creative with it you can literally just go ahead and look up on the internet on google just be like hey i like uh midoriya type in midoriya draw midoriya uh i like goku look up goku draw goku um, it's just basically the whole point of this is to just get yourself to start drawing and eventually when you start drawing uh, your mind will start pouring stuff in but when you're idle it's kind of like you make your 
you make it a little bit harder so it's kind of like the idea of um if you want yourself to like study or to do any type of task just tell yourself i'm gonna do this for two minutes i'm gonna do this for five minutes something short like that and then once you get started you're gonna want to finish it that's just how the brain works so with art block the best way to do it is just just to get yourself started um, look on YouTube and look up like, some art challenges. They have like what uh, mouse only challenge. They have 10 minute, uh, one second, 10 second challenges. They have coloring book challenges. They um, back when they had like Inktober, there was an Inktober challenge. There is a there's mermaid, a uh, mermaid. So like you draw mermaids all May. Um, you can literally do fusion challenges where you take two characters and from like two completely different shows and combine them like you combine let's say you got patrick from spongebob and conduct co combine it with bakugo from my hero academia there's like so many random things you can do you can literally like go look up on davian art i know there's like tons of like character randomizers animal randomizers where they'll just like come up with something random for you to draw there's like random there's prop ram randomizers you can look at prompts and draw something like there's so many ways the key though is to just get started and and just keep going um really to be honest with you like uh art block it is art block comes from the kind of like expectation that you put on yourself to like constantly have a flow of ideas and you can't expect yourself to just constantly have ideas some people are like that not everybody is like that that's why you got to utilize the internet and be proactive with it like search up different things and you'll you'll find ideas for days maybe you might have to um watch a new anime or read a new manga watch a new tv show uh, read a new comic book for new ideas to spur in um i know one thing that motivates me a lot is like going on webtoons and seeing so many like independent people who are like not you know not like something like marvel or, or dc and you have like literally these people who are out here pro like literally continuing their stories and working hard on their stuff and you see the progress you see that is possible and it really does motivate you i think art block partially comes from lack of motivation and partially comes from lack of ideas and here's another thing i want to put out there and this kind of like is a little bit separate from art block but like just being an artist in general it's like you got to realize that this idea of motivation is not really a thing that is consistent it's a matter of discipline so if you uh put in your art routine not not everybody does this has like an art routine i kind of have an art routine when you watch my streams i do like fan art for an hour and or and or requests whatever people request me I do that for an hour because it's a warm up. It gets my brain juices going and it's a it's not as like serious. I'm just sketching, I'm just having fun, I'm just chatting with people. I recommend that everyone implements a little warm up session before they start getting into art and start getting into their main stuff because it will get your brain juices going. It will, it will just it will get you to the point where you need to be. It's kind of like when you warm up before you exercise. The reason why you warm up before you exercise is so that you don't pull no muscles. So it's like the same thing with art. Like you don't want to pull an art muscle. <laughs> you don't want to pull an art muscle. So it's very necessary that you have a little bit of a warm up where there's like you basically implement all these like art block tactics so that you don't experience art block when you're really really trying to complete something and like i was saying with motivation it's really a matter of discipline and routine and you don't even have to have like a super duper set routine like i'm gonna do this at 7 a.m every single day not like that but at least like when you know you're about to draw take like 15 minutes or however long you feel like is best for you to just sit there and just draw and doodle and not have like no specific like goal or expectations for what you're trying to complete 
another thing that's pretty good is tiktok i don't know like tiktok has helped me to draw more in my sketchbook because like whenever i see a new tiktok i'm like ooh, i want to try that and then i'm like oh okay let me get my sketchbook out and start doing that because it's just easier to do tiktoks on paper than to do on your laptop because my laptop screen looks like trash when you try to record it so unless i like save the video uh, like I screen record whatever I'm drawing and then edit it and then put it on my phone and then upload it to TikTok. There's just so much work. So I find that just like going on TikTok, find a cool sound and finding a cool concept that someone does. And then I'm like, cool, I want to try that. Take out my sketchbook and do that. That's a good warm up. Also, so there's just like so many numerous different ways to be art block. I think that people freak out when they're hit with art block. It's either that you're tired, take a day off watch anime watch netflix do whatever and then go back and like have a warm-up look up some prompts look up some challenges look up some fan art look up some characters look up whatever merge stuff together do whatever you want for like 15 minutes to an hour and then start drawing and you want to like get out our block real quick if you just keep doing that over and over again and then it's like after a while you don't even get hit with our block anymore i don't get hit with our block after i started doing that so uh, if you guys want any more advice, art tips, and stuff like that, just let me know in the comments. And yeah, thank you for watching. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy. Bye bye Okay, so let me talk about this drawing right quick. I know I had said bye bye but like, let me talk about this womb infusion. So basically on Twitch, I usually start off with like a warm-up, like I was kind of explaining that I do like these little warm-ups. And I didn't know what the heck to do because no one was telling me what to draw for the beginning. So I was like, okay, let me just do a weird fusion. So I did a shaman and a woman, a wooloo, and I made a, a woman. And it's really, I really like the way that it came out. I decided to keep like the fuzziness of wooloo and just like add shaman's like color scheme to it. And then... I was like, what do I do with the flowers? And I was like, okay, let me keep it on the ears and then keep his uh, braids type of thing because I thought that was like a really signature feature of Wooloo. So then I had the choice of like making his skin either like the white shaman color or keep it like the dark Wooloo color. But I was like, am I gonna make like the nose, like the facial features kind of like shaman? So let me go ahead and I guess just make the skin color black like Wooloo. And you know, it was it was fun. It's really fun. I wanna do this some more. I wanna do like Pokemon Fusion some more. So um, if you guys can like drop some Pokemon Fusions in the comments, that would be great. I know I had said that on Instagram and no one responded. Like no one never responds to like those question things. Cause I actually do pay attention to them. So if you guys can drop in the comments some like Pokemon fusions I could do in the future, that would be great. So yeah, this was a very fun experiment. I might even do like anime fusions in the future. So if you got some fusions, I really want to do Pokemon fusions right now. But if you got anime fusions, also drop them down in the comments below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye bye <laughs> That's where, this is where it started, this is where it ended. That's pretty much all you do for a hand. I guess I'll show you one more method for drawing a hand. Uh, very quick, uh, but basically when I was younger uh, and I was drawing hands, I've been drawing for a very long time. So basically I struggled with drawing hands.